All right, guys, I wanted to show you a little uh, tip to make uh, the rear naked choke uh, a lot tighter. Okay, it's a very uh, basic move that if you train in jiu-jitsu for more than two or three months, you're going to know. But a lot of people think, you know, you just lock your hands and squeeze them all. If that's a big proponent of what makes the choke work. There's a lot of other subtle body mechanics that often go overlooked, which can make it double the power that uh, most people use it with. So I'll show you guys. All right, I'll do it one facing the camera, and I'll do it some side angles too. So, you know, when you suck your rear naked choke on someone, you know, here, and you just pinch your elbows, it's powerful, right? It works. Um, you know, the, the thing about that is, you know, if the guy's got, if the guy's tough, resilient, has a strong neck, you know, he might be squeezing for a while and, and, and possibly burning your arms out. So a trip, uh, a tip I picked up probably 15 years ago now, and I and I use it as much as I can. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, going for the choke, I'll forget. But if I, if I can do it, I'm locking it in. And what you do is when you start to squeeze, and what you do, because your chest to back here, is take a big inhale of air. Okay. What it does is it expands my chest and creates like a pocket that, that sucks his body in. I've had this done to me and my eyes almost popped out. It was crazy, right? So we'll turn sideways. You guys can kind of see it. So, you know, however you get the choke, however you want to set it up, finish it, that's not the point of the video. But once you're here, you know, look, I'm going to tap him. And you saw how long it took him to tap. Now, same thing. Okay. It's, it's, uh, uh, sucking the space that's left in the choke, even though it doesn't seem like there's space here, you know, with me being chest to back, you know, this is powerful. But watch. You guys see that? I'm pulling him into me. I'm making him become a part of my body, which makes it a lot more powerful than just two arms on the neck. Two arms is always enough to, to squeeze the neck and get the submission. But if I'm using all 255 of me, it's a lot, it's a lot different than just this, even though this is going to be enough if I can get under there. I'm a big guy. I know what I'm doing. I can finish this, right? But just using my arms and my upper body, you saw how long it took him to, to tap there, right? See the difference? Okay, we'll do the other side. So again, standard. Okay, it's still going to work. What it's doing is it's, it's, it's uh, making the connection between our body stronger and thus making him a part of my body. And if I use, like I said, all 250 of me on his neck, his neck doesn't stand a chance. Even though this is enough to suffice and get the submission, expanding my chest and pulling him into me more is just going to make it devastating. You can try this for yourself. You, this will work. I, I want you guys to see this, to try it. Tell me in the comments if it made a difference. Because everyone that I've done it to is like, whoa, what was that? It's the same thing uh, when I first had it done to me. Uh, a buddy of mine said he actually got it from Hicks and Gracie uh, at a seminar or something. So I believe him, and this makes sense. So I've been using it for a long time, um, and it's, it's nothing really that's anyone can add this to their game. All you're doing is just taking a breath and expanding your chest as you choke someone. Um, I've tried it on other chokes like guillotines and darces. It doesn't, it doesn't really work because the connection isn't there. But on the rear naked choke, when you're attached like that, it makes all the difference in the world.